Hi guys. Again, I've been doing a little bit of a work at rebuilding a game that I was working on before and I've built a kind of a faction system that I thought was worth making a video on because it touches on a few different areas inside of Unity. It uses this really cool script that I found on the wiki page. Let me just bring that up. Uh, the create scriptable object asset and I'll be using that to make factions. What factions are are if you have a game where you have multiple different sides and it's not just kind of the good guys and the bad guys. There's people that have fairly complex relations within each other. For example, you could have uh, pirates that are hostile to travelers and then yeah you can have good guys and bad guys and all the rest of that kind of stuff but anyway I'll jump into the class itself to start off with um, so yeah for my factions the core of it is really just there's a list of other factions that are the enemies and another list of other factions that are the friends and also a default disposition so yeah, if they ended, if you want them to default to hating anyone, for example, if it was like pirates, they'll probably attack anyone that they don't already know of. So you put them as the default disposition of minus one. And also I've just got a little function in here that helps me find the relationship between two different factions. So first it, it has a little bit of caching <clears throat> that it uses to speed things up a little bit and then basically what it does is if when it's looking at another faction it sees if the faction is in the enemies and if it is like I'm using a float to determine like at the moment everything is kind of fairly binary like I'm just using negative one zero and positive one but in the future I could have the ability to slowly increase your reputation with different factions. For example, like in um, Fallout New Vegas, I think you can do stuff like that. And also in like World of Warcraft, you have factions and stuff. Anyone who's played that to, to the end game will know what I'm talking about. But anyway, so basically this just gets, yeah. It's just a list of factions that have friends and enemies, a default disposition, and it can get the relationship in between all of those. And I'll just quickly show you why that's a good thing. Uh, as we can see here on stage, like I'm playing and I've got kind of like two ships in front of me. Both of them are coming up green because both of them are friendly. If I select them, then... then we can see their faction, they're part of the good guys faction, these two ships. And if I look at the good guys faction, which is an, a scriptable object that's been turned into an asset, then yeah, you'll see that the good guys are enemies with the bad guys and they're friends with the player character, which is why they're turning up green. If I get one of these guys and I change his faction to the bad guys, then you'll see he turns up red and then they start attacking because they've detected that they're hostile towards each other. So yeah. Anyway, as as you can see, there's, there's all, all of these different factions and their actual objects. They're objects of this class and this class extends from scriptable object, not mono behavior like most classes normally do. And yeah, the way to turn that into an actual asset that you can drag around and configure through this is to use the script that I showed earlier, create scriptable object asset. I'll probably put a link in the comments or something, but it's on uh, the Unity 3D wiki. I think it's just like an example script. 
And basically what I've done is like if you if you're using Unity Editor on one of your actual classes, then it won't compile like it'll throw errors and stuff when you're trying to build it um, if you're building it for PC. So what I've done instead of putting this into my factions class, I've got that like I've copied and pasted most of the function and then I've added this little one here so that it's in the scriptable object utility which I can put in the editor so that it doesn't cause issues later on and yeah just what this does is it makes a new menu item in I'll just show it while I'm going it makes a new menu item in assets create faction that just calls this line of code to create a faction which is uh, assets create and you'll see the faction appears here and we click that and then a new faction appears and then we can name that faction whatever we want and then we can say this faction has certain enemies and certain friends and then yeah we can use that in game so yeah that's covered Where am I up to? Okay, yeah, that's that's covered how to make the actual factions. And you can also duplicate these and stuff to make up all of your factions. Um, what I've done is I've put them in the resources folder because in the game that I'm building anyway, like a lot of stuff, like nothing starts off on the actual scene. It's all kind of spawned through various, various different methods. Um, so what I do to get instances of these at runtime is I've got them all in the resources folder, which is a kind of a special recognized folder within, a view, within Unity that will let you pull this stuff at runtime. And the way I do that is I've got a class that is working like a global. I've actually just called it global. Um, and it's got some static methods. <clears throat> I'm storing everything in a dictionary um, just because that's a bit faster to for lookups. Um, there's a few different ways of handling this, but anyway, I've got a custom getter and setter method um, just to so that whenever I want to call this factions, like it'll it'll make up the dictionary and also the dictionary like. The, di the key of the dictionary is the faction's name, which is what it's named in here. So that just kind of makes it a little bit more um, handy to use, I guess. Like it's a little bit more logical when you're using it. You can see, oh, that's the name. So that's the name that it will be referred to in scripting. So anyway, yeah, I've just got this global class that just pulls all of these factions using resources find objects of type and also I had I've got this line here because like when I was when I was running this I found sometimes they weren't all loaded in um, and I think this line just basically forces them all to be loaded in I don't use resources too much so I'm learning a little bit on how exactly that works but Anyway, that's how I get all of the, the factions at runtime, so I can use them in the scripts to instantiate stuff. And yeah, I think that's pretty much all I have to say at this point. Um, and yeah, when I'm... The last little thing that I'll show you is like inside of my enemy AI script when it's looking for targets to attack, um, it just gets... Like each of my spaceships has a faction, um, shipped up faction. So I get my faction and I find a relationship with like looping through every other ship um, that I can find in the game. I see whether whether they're hostile just by checking the relationship with function that I defined in faction.cs. And yeah, I just find the closest one. And if I can find one, then I tell my ship to engage with it.
so anyway yeah i hope that's been of use to a few people like I, I found it was really cool personally to be able to use scriptable objects as actual assets and also the resources folder thing is pretty cool as well but anyway i better finish up this video thanks for watching guys feel free to comment and subscribe and yeah thanks for watching